So I'm making a I'm making a snake. That's the tail. And that's the head. Oh the snake. It's tiny. It's supposed to go this way. And what I did is I used the kitchen tool, like potato slices, wedges, whatever. And um, basically it just comes off right off with this. See? Because what I did <clears throat> is this is live. It was a live piece of um, branch. And I already said I was going to make this into a snake, this big long one. And uh, I started working on this one. But this wood is super hard to cut. See, that was the tail. Or it is the tail. The head will be over there. But I seen this vine. So I cut it right here. And right here. And that's what I have in the, in the bedroom. And, um... See, <clears throat> this right here is actually better because it's wet. It's not dried up like that. So, um, if if you're going to be doing any wood carving, um, it's probably better to let the water, I mean the wood soak like in, <clears throat> in water <clears throat> to, um, to soften it. So it will be easier for you to cut. Or not, I don't know. Anyway. That's what I did, and it works pretty good. I mean, it's so good I could I could use the um, the little um, potato cutter thing. But this stuff, I have to use the knife, or um, I have to use um, razor blade, and it's very very difficult. Like this, I might have to use like the the sawzall or something or some type of grinder or something it's actually a big project um so i might not even do it but um <clears throat> yep <clears throat> it's my project So that's how I made this and in the process